Hi, this is Becky with Icing on Top Becky's Cakes, and today we're going to make a pulled sugar lily. So we'll take our sugar that we made in our pulled sugar video, and we're going to pull this out several times till the temperature is all even, probably like 20 times or so. And that also creates shine. And now we're going to cut off a bit for our base of our lily, and we're going to form it to look like a cone. And this is what we'll be able to stick our petals to later. So we're going to let that harden, and then we're going to pull out a long string here. And the long string we're going to use later, so um, I'm just going to pull it out now, and then we're going to cut off a whole bunch of little pieces, and you'll see how those will come into play later. And you want to walk, work a little fast because if this gets too hard, it'll just start snapping and it won't cut nicely. So we want to cut it while it's still kind of soft. So work as quickly as we can to cut off those little pieces. And then we're going to set them aside and we're going to get our pink pulled sugar. Now I used uh, AmeriColors Deep Pink to color this one. Just a little bit goes a long way with pulled sugar. So I'm going to pull that out just like I did the other one and then I'm going to form my petals and I'm going to get my scissors and cut a point in our petals so that this point is where the end of the petal will be. And then I'm going to get my silicone flower press to make veins in the petal and I'm going to press it right in between that flower press and I want to do it not too slowly because it will start to harden and then the petal will crack. So we want to make sure that we do it while it's still soft and still moldable. And if it cracks, then we'll just grab another one, no worries. And I'm going to place it in uh, something that's curved so that it'll keep a curved shape later. Okay, and so then I'm going to grab this and I'm going to work on my other petals. I'm going to want about eight of these petals to finish off my lily. Now I'm going to take my first petal and see where I want to place it on my base and then I'm going to take my um, blowtorch, I'm going to lightly heat the end of this petal, we don't want to heat it too much otherwise it will lose its shape. And then I heat the base as well so that they can glue to each other. And I'll grab the next petal once that is where it is and do the same thing. Lily. Now I want to put all the little parts that I had snipped off earlier and I'm going to put those right in the center of my lily. So we're going to heat very lightly just the end so that it'll glue right to the center. Stick it right in there and then just go around and place them as I think it would look on a lily. And there's our pulled sugar lily and these can last a long time if you keep them in an airtight container that has no moisture in it it'll stay a long time thanks for watching and check out my other sugar videos